Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, The Nature and the Wild. So I decided to just go out and uh, let's see if I can get some nice spots. So I just come here into the forest and uh, I already started hearing a lot of different kind of birds. Mm. I just heard a bowser and I just saw a kestrel passing by and a lot of small birds I can hear. So I decided, okay, so that is a very really nice way that to go out and just let's have a, have a nice uh, discussion about this. So you can see my face is shining <laughs> with the hot sunlight, but it's, the good part is it's just behind us so we can get nice picture. Again, guys, I am with my Canon US R7. I connected it with the RF 100 and 500 and uh, I also used my 1.4x converter today. So I just want to try and see how these pictures comes up and also will give you a nice honest review of this uh, combo of course the rf 500 uh, 100 and 500 mm is a really good lens and it's uh, very very useful at 7.1 aperture but uh, what's going to happen when i connect to the 1.4x adapter to that i mean does it uh, really extend and magnify the objects and give you the nice and sharp images so that is what i'm going to discuss today so little bit about the lens um, you, can, uh, you can only use this 1.4x adapter extender uh, connecting to the 100 and 500 RF when your lens is all out uh, till 300 mm so before 300 mm that will not fit inside your lens so what you have to do you just zoom out till 300 mm and then you connect your extender on top of it and then you're good to go so when you connect the extender and you go all the way till 500 mm you will be reaching at f10 uh, f10 will be your maximum aperture on that you know? something to watch out in the in the in, inside the forest if you can see behind me till the sun is going on it's really shiny but after that it's, it's, it's quite dark and it's very difficult conditions to, to you know, capture nice pictures inside the forest you know and while the birds are moving too much so i think uh, it will be a good test today and i will put all the pictures inside so again guys so we have this um, uh, connected to the lens i have on the lens a um, couple of uh, setups where in the first one you can the first one you can see oh there's a spider on it <laughs> i just take it out okay you can see the first one is your autofocus and zooming capability which is like the full then you have the till infinity and then you have three meter to infinity so the minimum distance will be the three meter and maximum will be infinity mm -hmm. option is putting your lens to the autofocus sometimes it's just dragged to different places so you need to check if your lens suddenly stopped autofocusing then you have the stabilizer i put it on so most of the time it's very good options to put the stabilizer and I always put it on while I'm making the videos or shooting the birds. And then the third one is the stabilization mode. This is pretty much needed, guys. What are the modes? So we have three modes. So one is the general purpose. So you can just use it all time if you don't know what to do with the mode. Second is the, it's a very good option while you are panning, you know. So you're just uh, taking the picture and you're panning like this and you're making most of the time on the videos. Uh, that is a very good option you can use the option too uh, it's quite 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 stable I tried it many times and the results are really marvelous so guys uh, the third option is really good for the tracking options you know like the bird is flying moving and you use this mode 3 with the flying object so it will keep tracking keep um, your um, video or your photos in a stabilization mode so this is really good, really good option. So I always use the number three for myself. I like it. So these are the basic option. And then you have here your zoom ring and then you have a smooth and tight. So which if you put the tight, the lens will not uh, shaggy and go out and come back. And then you have your control ring. You can come always, you can, you can, you can uh, program it as you want. This is the lens on my camera I use my back button as autofocus which is pretty usable for all the beginner photographer I will insist please try to use that if you try your back button autofocus you will see an instant result when myself when I started I always use the shutter button and uh, always thinking why the focus button is not working nicely what happened with my pictures but since I moved to the autofocus and I set it up on the back button the results are amazing man you will 
guys will see the difference just try and practice it it will not come in one day it takes some time huh? i'll go walk inside the forest try to see some different birds and get them and uh, side by side i'll give you a nice adventure today so this bow park is called Finkel boat um small part in the amstofen that's a big part um, small part of a big <laughs> forest here and uh, let's see what we can do stay tuned with me guys and thanks a lot It was very nice, but I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, I got a bowser, which is just setting, and then it started flying. So I put all my settings on, and then try, the extender is on, as you know. And I try to capture it. It's blurry, you know. It's blurry in the sense when I look from my viewfinder, I don't see it very well. It feels like it's not clear. Uh, it can be there can be many reasons because the wind is too high, and uh, the sun is shining a lot. So maybe that can be one reason, but uh, I will do some more testing inside a uh, little bit in depth of the forest and maybe then I know what is exactly happening. Um, whether it is the problem with my extender itself or some something else. Something is wrong with this uh, setup right now, but uh, I just disconnected and try it again. Mm, so I will keep you posted. But I just saw a bowser, it was flying. I still see the two of them now and they are uh, in a hunting mode. So I just want to, I just try to stay this place and hopefully they will get down a little bit closer and I got some nice shots if I'm lucky. So you can see, this is the forest I am in and yeah, it's quite crazy. Guys, stay with me. trying to track the bowser he's still sitting there nicely uh, I was thinking maybe he's going to hunt and then I got some nice picture but he's so lazy a lazy bowser he's just sitting and looking at everything and while well, all the birds which were nearby to him just flew away so guys this is very weird I I don't see any small birds. No birds here. This never happened to me with this, at least with this forest. All the birds are gone. This is not the end of the season, honestly. But this is really weird. I don't see any small bird, none of them. Nothing is moving anywhere. It's almost uh, 6 p.m. in the evening. But this is crazy. Anyway, so, as I told you, I tried to disconnect this 1.4x and then uh, reconnect it and now it seems a uh, little bit okay, not completely. Um, I tried to capture some pictures and I saw those pictures, they are, um, they are good, not blurry actually and I hope um, I will process them and I can, I can, I hope I get some sharp if you see here. This was the flying bowser I was talking about. So I hope I got some sharp pictures and if it's not sharp enough, then I don't think this 1.4X converter will be worthy to have with 100 and 500. But I have seen millions of pictures from different people, um, mostly taken from static place like a hide and all. Even I also tried it in my last hide and the, the result was quite good. But what about the real world? If the things are moving too much, the light is low how it's gonna come out so that's what we all need to be know so this will be my honest review um, of a real world and and, and, and on-field testing of this device so guys let me know your thoughts in the comments I will put all the pictures whether they are bad or good Um, as I told you, like uh, 
I don't see anything from the viewfinder and it's make really a blurry images and uh, when I look from the camera small viewfinder and I see everything was was blurry nothing was clear so I was just thinking my, it might be the possibility of the lens or maybe the extender I connected but I came home and did some research and what I find out that the internal part after the front panel of the lens is always moving it is the image stabilization part and that's never be fixed and it only only don't move when you connect it to the camera so that part was okay so then i check uh, my canon r7 and from the viewfinder if you see there is a small ring near to it from where you put your eyes and this is the um, that is the that is the inclination of the of the screen so when i adjusted it a little bit and everything became very clear and clean so that was the small part um, Hopefully you guys have enjoyed.